I'm just a scooter. Is there a low reason why my pet parrot is green? Is he a Riddler informant? My, my, one of my aunts had a, a green conure parrot for many years. And he was so smart and he was so nice to me and to her, obviously, because he was bonded to my aunt. And then a couple other people. Most people, he fucking hated. He fucking hated. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't attack them or anything. But if you went near her, his mother, right? And you started touching her arm or something, he'd get so pissed. So pissed. He wouldn't, he wouldn't aggro too hard but he would start screaming <laughs> and he was normally a very well behaved little parrot he's a very good boy but he just oh man i liked that parrot though he, he he knew i was chill i gave him snacks and things so we would we would hang out you know which is the african african grays are insanely smart too yeah yeah they're so smart i um the only ones I got to, like, really, birds I got to hold and interact with were I had a cockatiel a long time ago and a pair of lovebirds. Um, and then my, a couple of my aunts ha like birds and have had a bunch of birds. And whenever I go visit, you know, over the years, they've had various smart and less smart birds. Um, I like them. I like them a lot. I would not own a bird again unless I had literally nothing to do. A smart bird, I should say, like a very intelligent parrot. I would I would not own one again unless I needed to basically have a toddler for the next 20 years <laughs> because that is just... I don't know if any of you have ever had a bird or had a family who's had a bird, family member, or if you've dealt with one in a household for any reason, but they are so needy and it's like having a literal two-year-old, three-year-old that needs your attention all the time and is bonded to you, which is very nice if you have nothing to do. Like if you're old and retired, I think getting a bird is incredible, but up until that point, I don't know. Having a toddler that lives for decades, yeah, but at the same time, it's your little baby. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know how to describe it. The bond you can have with a pet bird is insane, absolutely insane, because they're so, they're so social. They're so social. Yeah, I loved my cockatiel. He was, he was incredible. He was my bestie. Had him for a long time. Um, he was originally, uh, originally my mom's, and then, um, you know, I was born. <laughs> so, so I kind of grew up very young with that bird for a while. And uh, loved that damn bird. Loved that damn bird. I don't know if I ever, um, if I ever decided that I was done streaming and I was retiring, and I also was not going back to any other kind of work, I would just, I'd probably just get a fucking bird, <laughs> or maybe maybe a needy dog. I don't know. I would think about it. Do you have a favorite type of bird? Not necessarily. No, I like a lot of Jeez, different God. ones. I like a lot of different ones. I don't know what I would get. I don't know. It's hard. I've had aunts that have had so many different. Um, types of birds at this point that I've gotten to interact with so many and on, on a regular basis too, not just once, right? Um, but some type of smart parrot is what I would get. Not anytime soon though. Maybe, maybe, you know, in a bajillion years, I'll get one. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I would just never get one ever again and just get a dog or more cats. Who knows? <laughs> a crow. Oh my God. Yeah. I used to have this, um, this crow in an old place I would live where he would, um, he would show up to the window and I would give him little things. I would give him snacks and then sometimes just little, little objects that he could take and, you know, throw in his nest and he would bring me stuff. Oh, we, we had a, we had a thing going where we would bring each other stuff and he would just, he would just talk all the time. He would just talk to me. He'd come up to the window and I'd be like, Hey, how you doing? And he'd be like, rawr, rawr. he'd start clicking. <laughs> he'd start clicking his little beak, you know? And I was like, Hey, loud as fuck. I told you guys, right? That my, uh, my mom always said that when, it, when I laughed sometimes that I sounded like a fucking crow. So she would always, she would see me at the window talking to him and she would be like, oh yeah, yeah, it's your twin. It's your twin. <laughs> I don't know, my laugh changed over time. Um, mostly, mostly because when I was sick, I had to like laugh differently. Talking I had to train myself to laugh differently. So I didn't like stream. bother my, my insides <laughs> for lack of a better way to put it. Um, but yeah, I think the way I used to laugh especially was very, uh, she wasn't wrong. Love the knocking noise crows make. Yeah, yeah. There was, I saw the other day, uh, I think it was a magpie. Wait, let me, let me look at pictures of them. I'm pretty sure it was a magpie. There was one just doing a bunch of calls above this restaurant. Oh no, it wasn't a magpie, it was something else. It was this all black bird and its beak was, I don't think it was a magpie. Its beak was a little lighter, like a little bit brown and it looked slightly speckled. And around its neck, the plumage around its neck was real floofy looking. And it was, it was sitting there. It wasn't a raven. It wasn't that big. It wasn't that big. It was a smaller bird, smaller than a crow. 
But he was sitting there mocking a bunch of calls and things. And it wasn't a mockingbird. <laughs> it was not a mockingbird. But I was sitting there uh, listening to it. I was just looking at it. And it was just going like, <laughs> making all these little sounds. And I was like, yeah, I like that motherfucker. I like that bird that's just sitting there being annoying, opening its mouth and just making every sound it could possibly make back at everything that's making sound. <laughs> I liked that thing. I like birds. I like birds a lot. I miss, um, I miss hearing, I don't, I don't have a bird feed or anything set up. I like the like morning birds chirping kind of thing, right? You just, you just set up a bird feeder and then every morning you hear like rah, 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 as they go crazy. I miss having that. I miss that. I want that. I liked that damn bird though. I like that damn bird. I just, I was supposed to walk back with my food and then eat it. And I just sat there looking at the bird, talking to it for a little bit. <laughs> It was looking at me, it was at me. I like talking to a man. Bird fountains are neat. You can see the birds splashing around when you look out your window sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want one. I want one. Ooh, you know what I want? Something I used to do a long time ago that I haven't done in a, quite a while. Just because I don't have the right space to do it. A bird feeder for suet cakes. You know about suet cakes? It's, it's a literal brick, like a cake of a bunch of feed and things that the birds can pick at, and you can get really specific types of feed in there for attracting certain types of birds and feeding them. And um, I used to have suet cakes that were really, really good for things like blue jays. Oh, I had I had so many blue jays that would show up. And you know what? Blue jays are assholes. They will fucking beat you up. They are mean, aggressive birds, but it's good because they kept other things that I didn't want away, and they ate a lot of bugs. <laughs> so I liked I liked having the blue jays around because they were really good at controlling that kind of stuff. They go insane for peanuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a suit cake with a lot of peanuts in it. Actually, I really like leaving um, whole peanuts. So don't crack them open. Leave them in the shell and leave it there. And the blue jays will like pick at them. They love it. They love it. And you can sit there and watch them because they have to sit there and pick it out. Sometimes they carry with them, but um, I liked I liked sitting there and, and uh, watching them just pick the peanuts out of the shell. <laughs> Gotta watch out for red squirrels here with the suet balls. Oh, yeah. Jays are egg thieves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They go straight into other birds' nests and steal their eggs. <laughs> if I were to get a bird feeder, all I'd get is pigeons. Pigeons are so sweet, though. Pigeons are so nice. They're so chill. You know what I love? I love uh, morning doves. I love their call. I love hearing, like, a singular morning dove. Uh, just, just doing its ooh kind of thing. Oh, they're so good. They're very, very related to pigeons. Relatively close. Yeah, the long coo sound. They're very sweet, too. I had a blue jay that would mimic hawk cries to clear the feeders out for themselves. <laughs> yeah, they're so smart like that. They're so, so smart, man. Pigeons are dirty animals. You're acting like every animal isn't fucking dirty because it doesn't, you know, live in a house like you and have shoes. The fuck you want from them? Oh, pick up a broom, pigeon. Sweep your own cage with your hands that you can use to pick up that broom. <laughs> the fuck you want them to do, bro? <laughs> yeah, they're animals. They don't know what bacteria is. Go explain bacteria to a pigeon. Know what I mean? And it has as many bacteria as rats. I don't care what you mean. You'd be nice to pigeons. You'd be nice. Okay? You'd be nice. Got it? 